So we're just going to flip through some of the pictures that we took for, about this home. Just obviously the front side of the home, the side, nothing of negative there. But now in the foundation, we're going to see that there's a little bit of cinder blocks that need some touch-up mortar joint, be, uh, mortar work between the joints. That's the rear of the house. A little vegetation trimming, keep the trub, uh, shrubs and trees away from the, the roof. Downspout right here needs to shoot water far away, especially with the cinder block foundation. Siding is got some age to it, but nothing that needs to be replaced now. Um, there's the electric meter, which tells me there's 60 amps of electrical power at the home. Normally we'd have 100, but this isn't a huge house. I think we could still get away with the 60. A little bit of rotted trim if you push behind. It's a little bit punky wood, but... Um, I don't think anything needs to re be replaced right now because it's well caulked and painted, so maybe in the next few years we'll do a little bit of replacement of wood. Again, shoot water far away from the foundation, foundation cracking, we want to fill in the mortar joints. And there's some more siding that's just eroded, but again, not needing replacement now. An electrical outlet that needs those special test and reset buttons in it, that's at the outside of the house. We do have them in the kitchen and the bathroom. Speaking of the kitchen, there's very few outlets. As a matter of fact, there's only one uh, in this whole countertop, so you may want to add more for, for convenience sake. Some of the electrical outlets are two-prong and some of them are three-prong, but even the ones that are three-prong effectively are only a two-prong usage. There's, 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 there is a third plug on some of them, but they're not wired properly. Add a cover for safety. Now down to the basement, the oil tank looks good, however the line leaving from the oil tank is not in a protective sleeve and new code says it should be. There's some termite damage, we're going to be flipping through a few different pictures back and forth, but some termite damage that has been repaired but not treated for. There's the electrical panel which looks good overall but again 60 amps of power. There's your town water meter and more foundation issues visible from the inside. Just going to do some more repointing and keep all water away from that foundation. There's your boiler. The boiler looks old, but there's a date on it that says 2001. So 12 years old. Uh, so it's been in a moist basement and likely been leaking. And we see the rust in the certain areas. This boiler not only creates your heat, it creates a domestic hot water for showers and faucets as well. That's in this area. And the pipes, the heat pipes, have a bit of corrosion on the outside because, again, it's been in a wet basement. There is natural gas to this home. There's a gas meter on the front of the house, and this natural gas pipe runs to the gas log fireplace, which currently is shut down. This is the venting for the heat. We need to get a better uh, complete seal so no combustion gases come into the basement as they currently are. It smells rough down there when, when the heat is running, so that needs to get fixed and made safer. There's more termite damage that has not been fixed. So we saw some that has and some that has not. More needs to be done in, cut, in uh, repairing the floor box from termite damage. There's, again, the some that has been fixed. A little more foundation cracking. And back to the boiler, and we zoom up on this, and we see it says 2001. And all the corrosion makes it look much older. These are steel adjustable columns supporting the main beam in the home, and we recommend steel concrete filled columns. Just a nice structural upgrade. Floor box measurements. There is some moisture in the basement, a couple puddling areas on the floor, and then some sweating on the walls. So I think there has been a little bit of leakage through the walls, but then also the basement does need a dehumidifier to keep everything dry and not sweating. Back to the town water meter for some reason. And upstairs there's a torn slight screen tear at one of the windows. Oh, and I had to run back down to get a better picture of this. There's some mold spots on the drywall in the in the um, above the boiler. Not a surprise since it's a pretty dank basement that needs a dehumidifier. Uh, this is just a, a, a picture, couple pictures of the floor box from the basement. We want insulation on all these pipes as a nice upgrade. In the kitchen, there's sharp edges on the end of a heater that could be covered for safety. There's a refrigerator with a water faucet for filling ice and water, but there's no water to the fridge, so we want to add that if you want that. And then also in a picture of the kitchen, we notice that there's no stove, and this would be where it would be installed. 
and the gas log fireplace is there, but it's not running. There's no pilot, no gas on to it right now. And that's all the pictures. Okay, thank you so much, Jeff.